Welcome to Metal Gear Solid 5 Tactical Quarantine. I'm making this video because I believe there's going to be plenty of first time players that get into this game and get to this part of the game. And it's uh, probably the least fun part of the game because everybody who speaks the common tongue are infected. Now, I say this is the least more fun part, well, I'm gonna show you. First, take a look at the quarantine facility we've set up. We'll isolate anyone who's already symptomatic at the quarantine facility. But we have to expect that there are multiple staff who are infected, but asymptomatic. So how do we identify them? At present, we have no way to tell them apart. But there has to be something for us to go on. If you notice anything, reassign staff you suspect are infected to the quarantine facility. We'll monitor them, and then contact you if there's a change in their condition. Correctly quarantining these asymptomatic infected will reduce the number of new infections. You should continue with your missions as usual. If Cypher is behind this, going after them should help us determine the root cause of this epidemic. Also, until we identify the pathogen, we can't fire or dispatch any staff. We cannot let this thing spread. Boss, get to the bottom of this fast. We're counting on you. Long story short, from this point on, and until we complete missions 26, 27, 28, and 29, all major functions of Mother Base are disabled. Also, it's not very complicated to quarantine them. You just gotta pick up everybody who came to carry a very common thing. And you're gonna notice that every one of these guys, they speak Kikongo. So what it means is that we are going to have to isolate all the Kikongo speaking staff members. So I'm going to elaborate a bit more on how to make this one easier for yourselves without having to rush to the ending. So let's get to it first. Okay, as I'm selecting this, I'm gonna tell you. This is not fun because you have to sort through all of your staff. Single out the Kikongos yourself, select them one by one, and then move them to quarantine. The other important thing, as I said, is that Mother Base is officially paralyzed until we complete the missions I mentioned. So that what you need to do is rush in and you also want to stop your mother base members from dying because this means you're gonna have a lot of other people that you want to fault on. This also makes the whole Fulton and people from Africa all the more risky because he, this is the area where the most Kikongo speakers are and you don't have the way to determine which language they speak until the late game. I believe this even this is even the end game. Now, the other thing that should make this easier for a first-time player is that up until you complete the first 30 missions of the game, you do not go into the online at all. Going online means that you're going to have the FOB online mode enabled, which I guess it does give you a lot of benefits. It lets you play the online. It gives you plenty of goodies to level up things a lot faster, but what it also means is that the more platforms you build, the more staff you're gonna have to select and quarantine. Because I've been playing this game in the offline mode ever since I started this series of videos, I haven't really had to deal with uh, too many people. I am going to isolate a lot of them, but if I had gone into the online, I had started building FOVs to my heart's content, then I will be stuck here for hours. So that is the biggest key here. This is one of the main reasons you don't want to play this thing in online mode, at least not until this part of the game is over, because this is a one-time deal. Once this is over, you can actually fill yourself with hundreds and hundreds of soldiers, regardless of what language they speak. Now I believe it's gonna be best that I step it up and continue selecting Kikongo speakers. Okay, that is all of them. We are talking about 226 soldiers infected. Now imagine how much bigger that number would have been if I had been playing the FOV modes, if I had been building FOVs 
and getting my soldiers and my mother base to have a massive amount of staff, so yeah. Staff has been quarantined. Alright. We'll quarantine the staff you specified. Did you figure out what's causing the infection? Incredible boss. Thanks to you, the number of new victims has plummeted. And the common point between the infected. Is it really possible for a disease to spread because of that? Whoa! Boss, a new job's come in. It's a hit. I'm the human trafficker who sent Shivani and the others to Nzoya Badiabulu, where you ran into Skullface. The thing is, this guy might know something about the disease that's going around Mother Base. The symptoms are similar to the ones we saw at that factory. Start by checking the mission details on your iDroid. So yeah, officially, as I'm making these videos, I'm going to be on a timer myself, so... Expect those to come out a lot more often, other than that. I hope you guys found this video useful, and I guess I'll be seeing you all in the next one.